Hey guys, today I'm here to review this solar charger that I get from internet just a few days ago but now I actually have plenty of sun here so we'll test it, right? This is the package as you can see this is the solar array this is not a power bank it's only the solar panel that has um, this kind of converter and the USB cable to charge whatever you want maybe as your power bank, as an iPod, an iPhone, uh, whatever thing you have, right? But this is uh, just is a kind of funny because this is not an iPhone this is like an Android phone but it has an iOS interface so it's a, a kind of funny, right? In the other side we have the function indicator diagram and also the specifications. Oh, this is a key component of the system. I have it here. This is where you get the input from the solar array and your USB output to charge whatever you want. It says that it could provide um, one ampere direct current and output. The solar panel can provide to three, uh, five watts. And pretty much of that, right? You can charge your iPhone, iPad, whatever, maybe a power bank just like this to the USB cable that you connect here. This is the specifications, um, working temperature, output voltage, and so on, right? Okay, actually, I have unboxed this previously for you guys to see. This is the solar module. And here it is. It's, it looks like a um, polycrystalline panel. I don't know if you can see the different blue tones that has. It's more brighter over here. It's more darker here. So, yep, it's a polycrystalline solar. And it looks pretty different from the one shot in the box. I prefer this one, it looks better and also it is bigger, but it doesn't matter. I need to check how is the performance of this. Okay, so this has a 3 meters cable, right? This is just 3 meters long, it's pretty good. This is where you will connect uh, that key component from the output and then a USB. And let's test it with this phone. This is my iPhone 5C. And as you can see, this is without charge right now. It's low battery. So let's test it. Okay, so here I have the solar panel just in the wall. And it's plenty of sun, a kind of little, little cloudy. But actually, with lots of sun, and it's roughly um, 12 o'clock, 12.5. So, I will connect the iPhone to the solar panel and to see how long it will take to charge to 100% of the battery. Okay, so here we have the solar panel. I just put it in front of the sun. It is plenty of sun, as you can see. and. This is a key component, as I told uh, previously, I will connect to the input, solar input actually. I don't know guys, if you can see that there is a blue, a blue light, this is a LED. It says that it is actually connected to the solar array and it is providing energy from charge, whatever you want. And here I just have my iPhone without charge and the USB cable. I will plug in, okay. Um, I just connect the iPhone, it is uh, actually charging, so um, it is now, right now 12.15, I will put the stopwatch just to see how longer it will take to charge, to fully charge. Okay, so see you later guys. Ok, 
Okay guys, after 1 hour and 30 minutes, let's see how it's going on with the battery. Here is the iPhone and all the cable stuff. I will... I don't know if you can see. It has 43% of the battery. Uh, there's so much sun, I don't know if you can see. But it is actually charging and here is the iPhone. As you can see it's connected to the solar panel. And um, Let's see how it's going on. I will just leave the iPhone here. Um, we, I will come later. So, see you later guys. As you can see it's been 2 hours and 17 minutes. But I've noticed something that happens when the... There's, for example, right now, there's a big, big cloud but there's some space of the sun but um, when there's too much energy into the solar panel and then some cloud or something covers the sun from the panel I have noticed that in that moment the phone will stop of charging and when again the sun is on the panel this is continuously not charging. I don't know. If, um, I will try to show you what I said. So just unlock my phone. It has 63% of battery, and it is not charging. It says that it's not charging, and I have plenty of sun. So what I need to do is to disconnect the phone and then plug in again. I just try to and oh my god it's charging again so this is kind of pity that's I don't like too much especially when there's clouds like this and just that cloud I don't like so it's been again two hours and nearly 90 minutes so let's see how it's going on. It's been 3 hours and 20 minutes and right now it is not charging. It has 91% of battery. I think I have choose a terrible day to charge this thing because look at that. Look how many clouds we have right now. And there's the sun, and it is plenty of clouds. It is not a, a good idea today. But I want to show you something else with the charging of the phone. I told you uh, so moments ago, I need to restart the connection. I need to log it again. But Right now, this accessory may not be supported. Okay, I have here the white. Actually, it is not charging again. It's not charging. It is because the input that the solar array can provide right now, it is not enough to fully charge the iPhone. I mean, it is right now, it is cloudy and it is not providing one ampere per hour to charge the phone with the 5 volts that it's needed again uh, 91% I will try to charge it again just plug it uh, with one hand it's kind of difficult not charging not charging again guys that clouds are stalling my sun and that is not providing enough energy oh it's a kind of sunny again it's sunny again okay so if so i can just plug it again so that it's charging and I, okay it's actually charging right now 91 percent and it's charging so it's all about of the how much sun you have facing your solar array and of course if you want to fully charge your phone or your power bank, whatever, you will need to have plenty, plenty of sun 
a fully sun facing the panel and not clouds as these that I have today. So again, right now it's been three hours and 22 minutes, 23. So let's check in how this is continuing. Look at this. This is charging. Charge my dear, charge. Okay guys, so here the solar day is almost gone and it's been now 4 hours and 12 minutes but today was pretty cloudy you can see it's 96% of charge it's continuously charging I put the solar cells down cause, because of the sun but again 96% today today it spent a lot of time of charging but it wasn't too bad I mean if you are lost in the woods or maybe at beach or somewhere else without current or electricity this could provide you the enough energy to recharge your phone for example imagine that you are lost and there's some zombies or monsters out there and it's an emergency so you will probably use to your phone to call or maybe check some emails so you put your solar panel just out in the sun from for one hour and you will get maybe 40 percent of charge of your iphone 5c and that charge is enough to make some calls to 911 or i don't know to check your email so it is not too bad at all with the four hours and the day that was cloudy but i want to show you something guys um i have previously the fortune to test how is the charge i i have a little relation in january 1, 11 sorry i charged from one percent to 100 percent the battery of this iphone in two hours and 38 minutes and also that day I tested with my iPad mini and from 28% to 32% in 14 minutes it is not too good because actually iPad uses 2 amperes hours and iPhone just 1 ampere hour but this solar charge charger charger sorry charger yeah. this solar charger is pretty cool I mean especially in sunny days but right now it's not not much sun into the solar array but it's okay I mean for emergency in comparison with the solar power banks just as for example this is the solar boost from Eton it has actually a rechargeable battery it has 5000 milliampere hour battery and it will provide 2 ampere 2.1 ampere USB chargers, it is IPX4 but this, these 5000 batteries just need 30 hours to fully charge with some 30 hours guys it's a lot a lot of time to charge and with this little guy it says that has 5000 battery also, milliampere battery but I will talk about this in a later video I'm not pretty happy with with this I will take we'll talk later with this solar charger that uh, it came from China I don't like it too much but I will talk about of the other solar stuff so I think this is pretty much of this so thank you for watching this video if you have any question of where you can get or how much it costs just ask me in the comment section below and thank you guys